During this Christmas season, the Pope has issued what many are calling an optimistic and realist address to the economic crisis. In a document published by Benedict XVI, he notes that young people will be the solution to a way out of the crisis. He has asked the whole society to prepare these new generations for the democracy of educating them for justice and peace. The statement was made for his annual message on the International Day of Peace, celebrated on January 1st. Cardinal Peter Turkson, president of the Pontifical Council for Justice and Peace, and his number two Mario Tosso have prepared the text along with the Pope and presented it at the Vatican. Young people with their hope, their enthusiasm and their desire to live can already contribute much to the other generations. This is to prepare the new generations that gradually enter into society with a comprehensive education to contribute effectively to the common good and build toward a just and peaceful society. The Pope also lamented the difficulties one faces to form a family, find a stable job, or contribute to politics, culture, or the economy. Noting the importance of the family and influencing future generations, Benedict XVI said the hectic lifestyle or working conditions, which are often incompatible with family responsibilities, deprive children of the presence of parents. To resolve this, he asked for political measures to support parents. But according to the Vatican, the responsibility belongs to everyone, not just public institutions. If public institutions cannot take the initiative, civil society should do so. And if the civil society has good ideas, the public institutions will probably imitate. In the address, the Pope effectively calls on all sectors, from the school systems, media, and those in politics or the economy, to communicate the positive value of life and encourage them to spend in the service of good. It is ultimately meant to recognize the dignity of each person and give a more human face to the economy.